What's up guys, check this out. This is the new LPT from Diamond C, but I'm gonna show you an even newer one. We're going to Nashville and I'm gonna show you the 2024. What's next with Diamond C? Let's go find out. All right, Jacob, Diamond C, we're at the trailer show. This is 2024 technology. Yeah. What do we got? So a pain point for suspensions we've solved. Well, not just us, we worked with Lippert Components to do it. But, you know, seven and eight K spring suspensions when they were designed 40 years ago, were never intended for the type of mileage and uh, work that they're being done today, where they're putting 100,000 miles a year on them. The components just aren't made to last. And so we took that to Lippert and said, hey, we've got this issue. Customers are seeing it. They're tired of replacing bushings. They need something better. So what we've got is a slipper roller spring suspension. Steel equalizer, still leaf spring. So using some of the technology that has been around forever, but the, the key to it is there is actually a bushing, a rubber bushing around this center bolt where the equalizer moves and that dampens the ride. It's got that rubber, the rubber in it is somewhat like a torsion axle inside there where it's, it's giving it that kind of dampen. It absorbs the energy of the shock load of the, the movement of the suspension. And then there's also a roller inside the equalizer right here where the spring slips. And then the same at the back, there's a roller that has a rubber bushing inside and what that does, instead of your traditional slipper spring just kind of grinding against the metal inside the hanger, it actually allows it to smoothly roll. And, and uh, again, that rubber in there is, is absorbing that energy. So not only will your components last longer, the trailer is gonna ride better. It's gonna dampen the ride. And actually when, it's, when you have it loaded or unloaded, it's actually gonna ride better as well but the key is your components are going to last so much longer. Right. It's an easier route on your equipment, but uh, spring, the, your springs, your bushings, your equalizer, everything is going to last, um, last quite a bit longer than what your normal spring suspension is. Crazy. And you guys designed this with Lippert. Lippert, so I'm not going to take the credit for it. Okay. Lippert, this is a product that they have used in some other areas and they had brought it to us and we were like, huh, thought about it for a minute and we've worked with them to kind of um, modify it to fit our application and to serve the seven and eight K axle market. So yeah, it Lippert had the, had it designed, but we, we did edit it with them, giving them feedback and you know, what our customers have to say. And so here and the final result is the slipper roller suspension for, for this application. Cool. Yeah. Crazy stuff, guys. I mean, that's why Diamond C is the number one trailer to get. Just innovations, things like this, things you don't even see or think of that they're thinking of to make the ride better, make the trailer last longer. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. It's, it's very interesting. Well, if I say this is an example of, um, you know, so often we can design the best trailer we want, like as far as the metal, how we put it together, all of that but we're limited to the components that we buy when it, when it comes to suspensions and axles and jacks and all the things. So we're on a mission to, to really fix the, the issues of the, the components. Like everybody buys the same components, like no matter what brand almost. And so that's why we are just adamant and, and so uh, committed to making the customer experience better when it comes to the components that we have to use from other manufacturers. All right, guys, next on the uh, new Diamond C 2024 trailer list is the DET. Jacob, what is the DET? DET is a model we currently have. It's a deck over tilt, available in bumper pool, like you see here, it has a gooseneck option. Uh, it was one of the last trailers in the lineup that did not have engineer beam technology in it. We were still using structural beam, still kind of basic. And so uh, definitely customers were like, hey, when is it getting engineer beam? So one of the main, one of the, the big uh, differences this year is we've integrated engineer beam uh, into the frame. So again, what that means is we fabricate the beam ourselves. We make it the height we need it, the thickness we need it. It's specific to the job, so it's not wasted material, right? Everybody else that uses structural beam, you're just stuck with it, man. You can you do as much as you can with it, but with an engineered beam like this, we put the metal where it counts the most so we're not wasting material. So you're getting the maximum amount of strength. Strength and lowest weight. So gotcha. you're getting more payload out of it. So it's engineered beam bottom frame and the tilt frame is also engineered beam. So big pickups. You'll see when you look up here at the front, we integrated the same lid and tongue combo yeah, in your dump trailer. Very cool. Yeah, so you have the lid that has a massive amount of storage space inside 
but then on top it's extended deck space so right. when the bed's down you've got this where you can haul a generator job box what have you you can haul items there tie them down to the little fence here and, and a lot of people don't talk about that because you know a lot of dump shaders just have that little toolbox on right. top not only do you have a place on top yeah. but your toolbox is about four or five times bigger it's than the typical yeah, you can stick a lot of stuff i throw chains in there because yeah. i'm also hauling you know whatever you can Man, all kinds throw of your spare tire in there spare. If you want. one thing we did do uh similar to the big f maxes that we released last year the spare is oh. now mounted under the frame like a truck super it's cool sticking out on the side or uh to be stolen or whatnot right or it's not taking up your box space you simply it's on a winch just like a truck so you just let it down the other thing we what we did with the det is it's going to be standard with all of your power equipment in a side box and that wow. way it doesn't take up your front storage space it's a dedicated box has a built-in charger the dt comes with a wireless control so you can run the bed from the seat of your equipment when you're nice. moving this one does have the slipper roller suspension, which we talk about uh, in the video. That's the, the up, upgraded suspension will be standard. Lots of new little enhancements for line routing. You can see there's the these oh, nice. pillow blocks basically that, that secure the hydraulic hoses so they're not hanging down, but they also kind of have a, a cushion securement. So uh, the the DET has been a great, a great trailer like it's like the uh utility knife of of equipment training right because you can side load pallets and and uh things that a fender trailer or low you can't but, right exactly i love the side loading yeah. part yeah trucks equipment you know skid steers all the different uh, and jacob it, i mean we're at a show obviously this trailer just looks amazingly shiny and good i mean did you do something special or is this how your powder coating just is i mean i've seen your powder coating and i mean i know it's like that yeah. but I mean, this is amazing. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, coming to a show, you definitely want it to look to look primo, right? Right. But what I will say is the DM coating system, which is what we call our powder coat system, yeah. this is pretty much the this daily. This is it. This wow. is the daily. Uh, because oh, wow. the way the system is designed, you know, uh, a system is designed to get the results it gets. Right. And so it was very intentionally designed from the beginning to yield a durable coating but one that's beautiful shiny this is not a special paint this is what this we spray is wow it. holy i mean it looks amazing man and guys if you guys know diamond c obviously everybody raves about your diamond or your uh powder coat system coating. yeah well the other thing we were able to do with the engineer beam on the det one thing that people just don't that they dislike or one of the disadvantages of a deck over is the increased load angle compared to a, a low boy trailer so with the engineer beam, it, it allows us to optimize axle placement to get the best load angle we can possibly get. Wow. So, which is really cool. Very but, cool. Yep. Yeah. The DET guy, what an amazing trailer. And of course they can go online and build it any way they want. For sure. So this one's still probably, uh, somebody, I should have said that. So a lot of the stuff we're looking at is still a few months out from okay. production. Okay. So, you know, this is where we come to this show. It's a dealer only show. We bring all of our latest and greatest what's coming to where we can prepare our dealer base and show, show right. our prospects you know, the, the type of stuff we produce. So. Right, but that's why that's why the guys watch us, guys. Like, this is futuristic. Like he said, it's not out yet, yeah. but it's coming, and it's good to see all this latest technology, and you guys are the leaders. For sure. Well, we will definitely, I mean, if you watch our content, like Diamond C Social and YouTube and whatnot, you will see, you know, announcements coming pretty soon for this product and when, when it will be available online to be able to order such as. Cool. All right, what's the next? So we're gonna move over to the DOD. Similar the to DOD. The, yeah, deck over dump. Similar to the DET, it was one of the last ones to receive engineer beam. Uh, it was kind of the, the, this trailer, to be honest with you, is somewhat of a stepchild. And it's not just Diamond Seas. Like it's everybody's in the industry. Like we, we all build a deck over dump that's pulled down sides, but they're all, they were all very similar. And all none of them were a great user experience because the sides were so stinking heavy. Right. Like even the average man to let the side down on a 16 foot deck over dump, you better be ready and you better not have a weak back because it's uh, it's heavy. Yeah, so, I mean, this thing's huge, heavy. Yeah, so there were a few um, things about it that we knew we had to fix. Similar to the suspension, there was, you know, there was a problem, the customer experience wasn't great. And so we went to the drawing board 
to figure out what is like the perfect deck over dump. So one of the main things is again, the sides, how heavy they were. So what we did in previous, you have a latch on each end, like uh, on, a, on our previous one and on competitors that you have to unlatch each end and then you have to come to the middle and let it down and again it's really heavy so yeah you have to did, hold it so it doesn't fall yeah, out and slam sure, right I mean, it would it, it, if it fell on you it would hurt yeah it hurt you so we put a central latch in the center it pulls the cable on both ends and what look at that and so you actually put have to push it down and it will lock at the bottom with the gas shots oh and what this allows you to do is again it's kind of like the deck over tilt you can side load pallets of sod pallets of rock right material side load you know 12 foot boards what have you on the trailer and you can do it on either side so both sides fold down but the big user experience pickup was just sheer being able to operate the side so effortlessly and then it latches yeah i mean that's helping out you know the the user I mean, because like you said, a lot of people are like, uh, like example, like you put uh, uh, on my dump, you put that hydraulic thing, and oh, it's yeah. like I hate hooking up my trailer. I'm like, oh, I don't want to go hook up my trailer. I don't want to go do now, this thing. Now, you don't now I do it in seconds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is one well, of those one things. Of those things. Like, there's a, such a large uh, portion of the customer base that's turned off by the current DoD and everybody else is because they're like, I can't do those sides every day. Right. Like, I'll make it work. I'll use my 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 DET or whatever. I'll use my equipment trailer for. <clears throat> that side loading function and I'll just use a regular dump whereas they could have two in one so that was one of the big big uh, improvements the next thing was almost all deck over dumps on the market are scissor lift I don't know of another one that is not a scissor lift and so you have such a, a wide platform decent size cubic capacity it is so easy to overload or front load a deck over dump and it's if you've ever overloaded to where it a won't dump, dump? Yeah, yeah yeah okay if you've ever overloaded a scissor lift dump it's miserable because then you're in there with a shovel or trying to rake it with a bucket on skid steer it's just it's right. a terrible experience I, I feel like it shouldn't happen so on your new dump trailer that you got that telescopic good luck overloading it or front oh really it. yeah it's not an encouragement to do so right but man it just sucks when you accidentally do and you want it to go ahead and be able yeah. to get rid of the whatever like get rid of the overage right and so we, we redesigned the DOD to have the telescopic cylinder just like your dump trailer has. Wow. So no more front loading it and it not wanting to dump. It's going to dump. And uh, just much, again, much better user experience has the same pump as yours to where it's, it's quick. It's about the same speed as the scissor lift. Just a huge user experience pickup on that. Then, like I was talking about, the engineered neck, engineered frame, the DOD is available in bumper pool as well, so it will get the same tongue as your trailer has, the same big lid. It's just a weight difference when you go to the, um, from bumper pull. You're talking about GVWR? Yeah. Yeah. Or, I, so, so I mean, can I get more weight on this trailer because I have the... Not really. It's oh, okay. preference. Oh, really? We, okay. because yeah, we have, like, this is rated at, at uh, this one is actually rated at 25,000 either way, bumper or goose. Oh, really? Okay, got yeah, it. So it just depends on preference and what you're pulling it with. Like, you can still do a bumper in 25. Usually they're pulling it with a 550 or a dump truck or something like that, or a, like a bobtail type truck. And so, but some folks just prefer how a gooseneck pulls and backs. And if they're not really, you know, needing their bed of their truck, it yeah, works, works I get well. you. Okay. So good to know. The other thing that we did, and it's not a, not a, like a, it is a game changer in the experience, but not like just uh, mind blowing. We, we increased the length of the ramps from 78 inches to 96 which is a huge difference. Gives you a better if angle. Yeah, if you're loading a, a uh, we, we did it, we took the engineering team to show them what the current, before we designed this, we sh took them out and got an excavator with a current DOD to show them what the experience was like, which was really cool because a lot of those engineers, I mean, just like a, in, in a lot of industry, um, the folks doing the work may not have that kind right. of like hands-on experience. Yeah, they're so, not daily users. Right. That's your and best so input. We called it demo day, and we took them out and we let them experience it. And they were like, "Oh my gosh!" And when they saw the difference of loading the excavator on the longer ramps versus the shorter, they were like, "Ah, we get it." Right. You know, so, but yeah, the DoD got a huge makeover, uh, super functional trailer. Now we're really proud of the way it turned out. Um, these are again, these are these are kind of. 95% prototypes, like they're almost production ready. There'll be some tweaking, some 
fine tuning that we do before they hit production. But uh, yeah, really, really happy with the way it's turning out. Very cool, man. Very cool. Adorable I love latches. those. I love those latches. Yeah. You guys, we got a video coming on those latches. You can probably see them all over TikTok. But uh, that's pretty amazing. Super easy. Yeah. Cool. cool. And then we got the dump. That's the dump that I have. It's very, very. The simple. LPT yeah. guys. Very great dump. It's got the uh, three stage uh, hydraulic there. It is an amazing dump. It just, it tows amazing, yeah. you know? And even when it was loaded, it towed the same. Yeah. I was like, what? This is crazy. The response, you know, we, it, we when you came here last year, this was new. Like, okay. this was the game changer for us. Oh, really? Year, okay. Yeah, this was the hotness. And so, I've uh, been received very well. Uh, the tarp system, the, the telescopic, like the new tongue, everything. And so, this is very, this is exactly like yours except for a uh, little bit heavier axles. This one has 8K axles instead of 7s, but other than that, it's very similar. The four oh, yes, combo. new, yes, so, okay. So on yours, we talked about it a little earlier. Yeah, you have your I step have my step here. And minimizes the decal a little right. bit, but shortly after yours was built, we actually combined step and fork holders in one so we don't have to have a step up on the tongue you still have side access here so and the fork holders are actually huge because you know if you put your equipment in there you can just put it on here then you can have another attachment up oh, there sure. or whatever yeah, yeah it definitely um, gives you a storage place for forks which sometimes are kind of hard to transport and where are you going to put them right <laughs> yeah the your truck so. and again people can build this online to their this specs. is 100 percent yeah available online can be ordered uh, obviously a slew of options can be in a gooseneck different hot sides colors body colors i mean gosh there's how many colors you guys have now so there's eight eight standard colors and four like four or five upgrade colors okay so, which the cool thing is even from back to the shoot back to the 80s one of the things my dad has always really um like founded the company on even is differentiation and so we don't charge for any of those eight standard colors where most of our com uh, competitors you they all you have to pay it's uh, if it's other than black it's a hindrance to them you got to right pay. right and so we just made it to where hey you can pick your color and uh you know to where you if you want to do all gray you do all gray if you want to do desert tan you do desert tan yeah i so, love desert tan but, everybody thinks they got it from the military yeah they're like dude is that a military trailer You're that like, thing's tough heck yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm like yeah it's what it's what they use That's man right. It's what they used in the war. Well, let's go take a look at the new wiring harness. All right, cool. Yeah. So, now, why do we need a new wiring harness? Like, I was pretty happy with the old wiring that's a harness, good question. but yeah. what's up with the new one? Well, so one of the places, admittingly, one of the places that Diamond C had to get better was wiring. Okay. So we were on some of our trailers, like yours, and on the big goosenecks, we were buying harnesses, modifying them. Um, not a bad, not a bad harness. I mean, w when it was done well, it it held up, it does good. But there was just a whole another level of professionalism that we needed to get to. Right. And so we went to work with a company called USA Harness. They're based out of Texas, so this harness is all made in the U.S. Uh, put together in the U.S. There will not be another a hardwired connection on the trailer. Like uh, which now there's, I don't know, on your trailer there's probably a few dozen hardwired connections right. that we're making. Whereas with this new plug and play harness, everything will be these uh, bullet oh, connectors. Wow, automotive like automotive connectors. connectors. Yeah, everything will be automotive connectors. Holy cow. To the brakes, to the brake pump, to the uh, breakaway battery. Like it'll all be in sections. And one really cool thing when it comes down to um, accessorizing, you know, guys like to accessorize too. Just right, like yeah, add like. your strobes or whatever you gotta <laughs> yeah. add. So we'll be able to supply a jumper to where that all you're doing is just plugging in off the, the oh. of the harness, no more cutting into it. That's amazing. So yeah, it's where you can add accessory power. Same thing for additional clearance slots. All you have to do is, is get a jumper from your dealer, plug it in, and you can add so your So you're not making slots. a weak point in the system. It's correct. staying sealed, yeah, staying sealed and staying and factory. Correct. Wow. That's pretty huge. Yeah, so I mean, that is pretty huge. I always thought about that when cars, so I'm always putting like a radar detector in a car. I'm like, why can't they just make a little plug that plugs into yeah. something existing? Just more consistent, higher quality. That's right. What we're, that's what we're after. And that, it'll, I mean, I'll say it's a pickup for us in production from the fact that the folks we have now that are making harnesses will get to go on to do something more, um, a more valuable job, more value add job. Whereas, um, 
and, and installing will be easier for them. Like they're just installing, plugging together, bolting the ground yes. down, and going. And actually, the end user can do it. You know, sure, I mean, yeah. just plug. End user, somebody who's a little electrical savvy, they can they can get some of the jumpers and be able to add. Wow. Add, add and that's just how it plugs in. Just like that, yeah. guys. Look at that. Just, I can't do it with one hand, but you get yeah, it. Yeah, guys. It shows you out there. Yeah, that's pretty cool, so man. Because that's definitely good, sealed from corrosion, especially up yeah. by me. I'm in the Midwest. Right. I get salt. I get, and a lot of times I can't wash my trailer until spring. Sure. You know. Yeah. Um, so, so this we is. Got, we got some switches here showing some of the lots. One of the cool things for 2024 for the harness is all trailers will have reverse lots, what? backup lots. Every trailer in the booth has backup lots, and so that was part of the harness, uh, whole harness project. And it's just when you hit reverse on your vehicle, it'll just back it up. Yep. What? It'll, it'll, it'll throw those on whenever you hit reverse. That's a great idea. Yeah. Do you guys ever put strobes in them? Strobes. We do have a strobe option on like this big gooseneck. We have a strobe option. Oh, I see it, yeah. Because yeah. a lot of the, the, like this is a hot shot trailer, really. And so they'll be offloading, uh, you know, a load on the side of the road, you know, wherever. Right. So there's a switch in the neck, you flip and it turns. Oh, that's hot. Out. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, that'll be, you know, included. The, the cool thing was that was something that we had to, the old harness cut into to add. Whereas now it's part of the harness. We just have the strobe option. Boop, click cool. it in and it's good to go. Cool. We just got one of those little uh, the roofer guys that are in my building. Yeah, we video. got a blue one. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. It was crazy. Yeah. They love it, man. They yeah. love it. But I didn't know it was. It's so much smaller than mine. Yeah. But it's just they pull it behind their Tacomas. It's just a and they're like, dude. Yeah, they're like, dude. Yeah. This trailer's awesome. We can leave it at job sites. They load it with roofing materials. We come pick yeah. it up without Tacomas and go dump it. Yeah. I'm like, man. It's good to go. That's amazing. Yeah. Cool. So 2024, a lot of exciting stuff. Anything else that we got to check out or? Let's see. Man, we got some other cool kind of doodads. Let's, let's look at the uh, the badging. Well, the badging is cool, and I, I know everybody out there is not going to get excited about the badging. Yeah. But I'm excited about the badging. Me too. That makes two of us. Yeah, it's but cool. It's a 3D badge, much like the same. It's the same material that it's like uh, auto manufacturers use, right? It's raised. It's got some really good adhesive behind it, and the cool thing is it doesn't. The, the cheap vinyl that everybody uses we've been used for 100 years if you get too close with a pressure washer that it comes out it off. so the cool thing is the adhesive on this is just like what's on your truck like it's not coming off with a pressure washer like that so we also were able to co consolidate some of our different stickers that um, we were putting on it for as far as the model and then it having the pace setter edition and then it being a fleet neck and so kind of it's cool yeah it looks like one. the side of like an f-250 it says yep. lariat yep. with the that's you the, know that's the point so you automatically know it. this is a fleet neck series it's got this is the f max 212 model and this one has the pace setter package that's cool i mean even these lights are cool look at the, what that's just cool man you just never know when you have to flip that on you know They've got the winch cable pulled out. On oh, the and then what winch brand are you guys using? It's War a Warrior, Warrior brand. Same winch. one that I had, right? Yep. That's yep. a great winch. Yep. Very powerful. For sure. So something to the, the little detail oh, the that roller. we've integrated is a roller when you do the winch package. Way, obviously, your cable doesn't rub against your paint, mar your paint up. Honestly, I feel like that would help loading something flat too, because it would roll right across that hump. Oh, sure. You know. Yeah. Um, Good. And then with the wood, is it the black wood? Is that what they call it? Okay, so you have that option. This is standard on the hydraulic dovetail. Okay. So with the angle, you know, you want some kind of some traction. You can't have the black wood up here because it's over the tire. You need the diamond plate, so you've got the 5 8 cleats for that. Okay. And the black wood actually gives you traction up the up the. Why is diamond plate over the tire in case of a tire blows or something? Or no, it's for clearance. Oh, got gotcha. you. Clearance for the suspension. Oh, okay. The wood is an inch and a half, whereas that's. Oh, an eighth inch okay, so, smart. Yeah. yeah you gotta hey, it's clearance. just fine. Learning new things. Yeah. And then you guys came out with a single wheel dump. Single wheel dump. They, don't you have a single axle dump? The little one over there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but isn't there like a one axle? Like I thought there was oh. one. You know what I'm talking about? So I don't have one here. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have a little a single axle. Yeah, like a version. super small. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have that as well. It's basically, the, so this is the MDT. You did a video the other day of your your the blue one. Yeah, the yep. Rupert. Yeah. And uh, anyways, same exact frame construction, but it's packed down into a little single axle okay. version, which is a. I mean, it's a. I think that's gonna be a hot beefy, seller. Beefy little guy. Yeah, yeah, I think that's gonna be crazy because you got your DIYer, the homeowner, or even like you know a small company that just doesn't need that all that dump. They're or just gonna use spaces. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. I never thought of that. Yeah. That's crazy. Very, very cool. So 
cool that's about it man that wraps it up for the show all the, right the new products cool guys diamond c as you know i'm a huge fan it's pretty much all the trailers i use um i've had one for a long time never had a problem with it you guys see it all over tiktok i like the innovation but talking to you i mean it's, there's more than innovation behind this company there's quality right i mean i've talked to jacob before off camera and he's just like dude we just want to be the best we want the best quality if you're going to buy it for hot shotting or something like that we don't want you on the side of the road working on your trailer we want you out there making money so that's what diamond c does guys for the professional great real good thanks All and it, if they wanted to go find out about diamond c where do they go diamondc.com there's a what we have called the learning center tons of articles there uh, that cater to all the different types of work that needs to be done options more about diamond c as a company what we believe what we're about uh, tons of learning that can be done right there on diamondc.com cool good stuff guys and you can also build a trailer yeah. like i said so if you want to customize if you don't need you know if you want that color if you want you know extra beams or what however whatever <laughs> you know beams, extra yeah extra, lots, extra beams extra paint whatever, whatever. Want, yeah. yeah diamond c all right guys thanks jacob appreciate yes, it brother